Hey guys, and welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a very chilled laid back video. Just have several little products that are new, um, mostly new, some new to me, but that I just wanted to throw them all in my face and play with makeup. So that's what we're doing. We're doing a get ready with me using some new products. I have a new foundation. Um, there's lots of videos on it already, so I didn't wanna do a dedicated video, but these are some new products that I have that I've rolled in, either I've bought or they've come in subscription boxes and I just wanna test a whole bunch of new makeup. So that's what we're doing. I have a few things right, I don't know what this is. I have a few things right here and as I need products, I may have to like dig into some stuff I already own. Let's go ahead and start. We're actually gonna start with a moisturizer and then we'll go into the foundation. But this is a moisturizer. I believe they've reformulated this and I got this in my I get my FabFitFun and my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus or X or whatever. I get those two mixed up now. But it was in one of those. And this is the Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. I love the packaging on this. I just think this is adorable. But um, I've had this for a little bit and I, I was waiting to use it until I photographed it. Since I am a photographer, I like. I like to take pictures of pretty things. So when I get it in, I have to take a picture before I start using it. Um, I've been looking at this for a while and I'm ready to use it because I took pictures this morning. So we're gonna dig into this and see how it feels on the skin. It doesn't have a very strong scent, which is nice. There's that. Let's go ahead and see how this feels on the skin. It has that light. It's um, has a very similar scent to, I have the Honeymoon Glow, and I, that's one of my favorite AHA products. Um, and it smells like that a little bit, just way, way lighter. The scent of the Honeymoon Glow, uh, I do not like. It's like really intense, but this is like a very, very toned down version of that. To be soaking in nicely, and it feels good on the skin. So I'm gonna have to keep trying that to let you know, but first impressions, I like the way it feels. So the foundation I'm using, so I actually placed an order on NARS and I got their brand new light reflecting foundation in like this little bitty sample size for free with my order. Um, but this is like a, actually a decent sized sample. It's not like a little foil. It has enough in it to do a few faces. So we're gonna try this out. It's a NARS product that I bought. This is the um, smudge proof eyeshadow base. We'll be using this today. So I'm gonna use my Merit brush to blend this in because this is just the brush I like to use with all my foundation. Ignore the blush that's on the outside of it. I need to wash this. It touched the side of my blush. Okay, so I have the shade Mont Blanc. So it's got a little spatula, that's cool. I'm just gonna put this directly on my skin. Let's start blending that out. The shade match is not horrible. It is a little bit dark, but This seems to be a very popular foundation. I've seen lots of videos go up on this. I'm very curious to see how it looks on my skin. A lot of people seem to like it. So let's give this a try. Oh, I said I was gonna do a, like a, a get ready with me and he should be talking, right? So Lincoln started his ABA therapy this past week. He went on Wednesday, then we had an ice day and he went on Friday. And it wasn't a bad start. He cried both times when I dropped him off. So that's, but you know, that's to be expected, I guess. He wasn't super happy about it, but uh, he woke up Saturday with a runny nose. So he went to school for two days and he's already sick. So that's nice. But it seems to be going away pretty quick. It's Sunday and he's already getting better. So I don't know when he'll go back to school because I don't know, I say school, but it's ABA therapy. Um, but I don't know what their policy is about being sick. So I don't know at what point he will be able to go back. So I have to call Monday and find out, but I have two doctor's appointments this week. So hopefully he can go to school. So I go to my doctor's appointments because he can't go to those. Okay. So the coverage of this 
seems to be a medium coverage and it looks pretty nice. Again, it is a little bit dark. It definitely is, does look fairly dewy on my skin. I don't know how much of that is the moisturizer that I put on beforehand, but it looks nice and healthy on the skin. So that's great. I'm just gonna use my normal Kosas Revealer Concealer because that's really all I use right now. Anyways, so um, Lincoln has started ABA and I think I did a lot worse than he did. I did a lot more crying than he did, but we will both get used to it. <laughs> and I was able to get quite a bit of work done on Friday, so that was nice. What do you have? What is that, baby? All right, so there's the foundation and concealer. I'm gonna put my eyebrows on real quick. I'm just using the Winky Lux Unibrow, which is an all-time favorite. <laughs> Hi, Lincoln. You wanna come say hi to the camera? You wanna come show them your alphabet sounds? B, 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 B. C, K, K, <laughs> Okay, we took a little play break, so now we're gonna move on. I'll leave it unpowdered for right now. Let's move on to bronzer. For bronzer, I actually got a new Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick. And I have a story to tell here. I have been using the mini Milk Makeup bronzer stick for at least two, maybe three years now. And I was using it consistently every day for about two months or so. And I started breaking out. I still have some like uh, leftovers from it in this area when I started using this consistently every day. And this is old and very expired. So I was thinking, the bacteria in this is probably causing me to break out, but I wanted to note, this is the mini. I've had this and I've used it quite a bit. I've had this for, again, at least two years and that's all I've used. Let me see if I can get it to turn up. Uh, I think it's stripped now. Yeah, it doesn't wanna go up. But anyways, that is all I've used of it and this is the mini size. So my husband bought me this little kit with a bunch of little milk makeup products and there was a little one of the bronzer stick. Now, I don't know if they've changed the packaging on the mini or if this is a different size, like if it's even smaller amount of product, but either way, I am excited to have the bronzer stick back and this is, again, in the shade Baked. So let's use this today, I'm very excited. Um, I filmed my refer brushes video yesterday, I think it was, and I'm not sure which video is going up first. So, but I'm gonna use a refer brush today, number 24. Ooh, it's, it's not gliding as easy as my other one did. That doesn't feel like the same formula. Well, let's see. Let's see if it'll blend out. Feels a little more stiff. Hmm. Did they change the formula of this in the last two or three years? He got this on Amazon. Is this actually from Milk? Like, is there a way to tell? <laughs> like, this has been an all time favorite for a while, and I don't know if it's different. The color looks slightly different. Just slightly. Let's try to. Just like tap some on here. And yeah, it's like dragging a lot more. That's interesting. It's not as effortless of a blend as the other one I have. You don't know. I have to keep trying that. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just cold. It was by a window. We'll see. Okay. So there is the bronzer and for my new blush, all right, I'm gonna take my Flower Beauty blush brush because it's nice and loose. And I've talked about this brand a few times on my channel and I love this brand and I don't think it gets enough attention and it's Complex Culture. I love their eyeshadows and their brushes and I got this to try. This is their Good Glow Blush Duo and I love the Jouer Blush Duo so much. The Jouer one, I love it so much that I decided I wanted to try the Complex Culture one because 
I like their eyeshadows. So here are the ones. This is Jouer, this is Complex. So let's give this a try. The colors are obviously different, but we're gonna go in with, I wanna start with this shade. And I don't know if it's flustered or blissed out. Anyways, let's see what this looks like on the cheeks. And keep in mind, I didn't set this foundation, so I'm trying to see if everything will blend out on top of it. Got quite a bit of blush there. It's very pigmented, even with this loose brush. But it's very beautiful. I'm gonna swatch these two, just so we can see the colors. So there are the shades on me. Very beautiful blushes, I like. It's gonna take a clean, fluffy brush to diffuse that a little bit more. I had another new blush I wanted to try. I have another shade of the Merit. Um, this is in Beverly Hills and I have now taken pictures of this so I can use it, but I already have a lot of blush on, so I'm gonna save this for another video. Well, I'm just gonna start using it now, but anyways. We're gonna move on to the eyeshadow, so I'm gonna use the NARS base. Sorry, Lincoln's eating in my lap. Evidently, it's very good. So let's try this. I've used this once since I got it, but let's give this a whirl. So for eyeshadow, I got this in my recent subscription box, one or the other, uh, but it's a Violet Voss palette. And I don't think I've actually tried any Violet Voss eyeshadows. And this is the palette called Windflower. Fun sized eyeshadow palette. So let's see what this looks like and see how these perform in the eyes. So here's the palette. Pretty. So I am going to start with the lightest shade right here. These don't have names, so I'm just going to start right here. Kind of go all over the crease area. Lincoln is chewing in the microphone. Hey, don't lean on the microphone. I'm going to take this red shade. It looks kind of orange on camera, but it's a reddish orange, I guess. Pretty. It's almost like a coral pink when it's on the eye. <laughs> That's blending out beautifully so far. And I'm actually quite surprised by this shade. Uh, in the pan, it's not a color I thought I would like, but this would make for a beautiful spring look. Oh, just a shimmer on the lid. That's beautiful. Actually, we're gonna do a shimmer. Um, which one do we want? I'm thinking this one. You know me. Well, I'm gonna go with this pink, which is pink with kind of a gold shimmer throughout. So let's just, oh my gosh, that is so, so pretty. That's gorgeous. Man, I used to hear about Violet Voss, um, you know, like 10 years ago, but I haven't really heard anything about them lately, but these are performing so well. I might actually leave it at that. So normally I would go in and deepen up the outer corner, but I'm liking the kind of light, fresh look. I'm actually gonna take that darker color just like on the lash line down here, and then right on this outer corner, just a tiny, tiny amount. Okay, that is actually really, really pretty. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of my Laura Geller powder, excuse the child again, um, and I'm just gonna set under the eye really quick. And go right down the center of the face, just lightly tapping a little bit of powder on. Okay, so I do have a new mascara, lip, and an eyeliner that I've never used. Um, so this is the Stila, Stila Stay All Day Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner, and I've I've actually never used this, so I'm gonna actually go in the waterline, and so it went on pretty well in the waterline. We'll have to see how this lasts. It was pretty smooth. Hi, baby. All right, we got a couple more products to go. One is a mascara from Oma, and this came in my Ipsy. This is Drama Bomb Extreme Volume Nourishing Mascara. It's 
quite a big fluffy wand. So let's see how this applies. It's massive. Wow. Oh, it's actually like lifting my lashes. I didn't even curl them. There's one coat. That's not bad. So there's one coat of the mascara. It looks pretty good. Let's build it up a little bit. I normally like lengthening mascaras just because volume ones tend to get clumpy on me. I don't know how this will be in a couple of weeks though. Like if it dries up more, it might start getting clumpier, but I'm kind of obsessed over this um, eyeshadow though. These two colors together are gorgeous. It's so weird because this looks really more terracotta red in the pan, but it turns into this beautiful coral on the eyes. It's gorgeous. Okay, and then the other product that is brand spanking new and I'm so excited to try. Um, I bought this myself and this is Merit's brand new lipstick. These just came out. Merit has sent me products in the past, but they did not send me this one. I did buy this on my own. As soon as it launched, I purchased it on Sephora. So I got the shade Millennial. Um, so I did take a few pictures of this, but unfortunately mine came a little bit scratched, so I couldn't get like a good shot of the actual bullet lipstick. But let's see how this applies and it looks on the lips. I don't have my, my lips are pretty dry. I don't have any chapstick. Like that. It's not funny. <laughs> my lips are pretty dry right now so it's a little bit rough of an application let me swatch it for you um it seems to be a nice uh it's not quite matte it seems to be a nice satin finish it's not really matte and it's not glossy it's just a a nice in between um looks a little bit more matte but it does feel nourishing. It seems to be like a buildable lipstick. It's not like a sh one solid swipe, but I prefer that. I don't like a full opaque hard line lipstick. This color is perfect for me. Perfect for this eyeshadow look as well. My lips are just so dry right now. What are you doing? Sorry, I like this. I'm gonna have to see how it wears and he wants to spin some. Okay. I think I have all my makeup on. Anyways, there was one other color that I really enjoyed. Um, I wanted to get Baby. Uh, this one is Millennial, and I really want Baby as well. But um, in the camera, it does look fairly matte, but again, it's pretty moisturizing. My lips have a lot of dead, dry skin on them right now. I need to exfoliate, but um, so far, so far I'm liking it, but above all, the packaging is so so Merit kills it every time. The packaging is so gorgeous. We're excited to have this and this will be going in my purse. Yeah, let's talk about these products, shall we, Lincoln? What do you think of the foundation? Do you like the foundation? Do you like it? No, 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 no. So the foundation looks pretty good. Again, I did not set it. It doesn't look like super luminous. Um, it's definitely only a medium coverage, but it looks pretty skin-like and nice. I'm gonna continue to test this little bit sample, but uh, it's fine right now. It's not a favorite yet. We'll see. I was very impressed with the Violet Moss palette and I'm gonna continue to use this. I think in the spring, which is coming up very soon, I think this is gonna be a go-to quick eyeshadow for me because this is so pretty. I really wanna do this to my friend Crystal's eyes. It would look gorgeous on her. Um, I really, really enjoyed the Complex Culture Blush. I'm gonna have to try the lighter shade, um, but it was very pigmented, blended out beautifully. Uh, jury's still out on this. I don't know yet how I like this. This is only my second time to use it, but um, the eyeshadow went on beautifully on top of it, so no complaints. Yeah, that's really all I really wanted to do. I just wanted to, just wanted to try on some makeup and get, get ready with me and Lincoln, evidently. This is gonna be time to get ready with me and Lincoln because Lincoln is just, can't be anywhere else, huh? You can't, you gotta be with mama. You gotta be with mama, stop it! Say hi. Can you say hi? No, no, say hi. Say hi, that's right. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed this super laid back, kind of crazy video, but if you did, please give this a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and wanna see future videos, hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you guys next time. Stay gorgeous, bye. <laughs> I, <laughs> I love you. 
Ah, no, slobbery hands, no. Get the slobbery hands off of my face. A, A, B, 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 C, K, K, D, 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 E, F, E, F, I, I, I. Can you say I? I. Yeah. J, 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 K, 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 Say K, K, K. Good. L, 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 you ready for O? Ah. Uh, say. Ah. Ah. O. Yeah. P. P. Good. Q. Qua. Say. Qua. Qua. Yeah. R. R. S. Hey, go. Good. U. Ah. Say a uh. good v v v v go v. that one's hard, isn't it? W w say w w w w w w hey w good x x good y y <laughs> Z. 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 Okay, we're done.